Hi everyone, I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop. And coming to you sort of unusual for me in the evening here. And I don't know what this is going to be. It's not really going to be a this and that. Well, that's not true. Uh, I do know what it's going to be. I am awful because I've got four uh, gifts that came from different folks. Uh, some of them came like four or five, maybe six weeks ago. And I have not shared them with you yet. So I want to do that now. I already opened the things. I couldn't wait. So you're not going to see me tearing open boxes. But I'm going to show you everything that was sent. And then I have a few things to show you from the thrift haul that I posted yesterday or the day before. Um, and then I need some help on a pottery vase. So, okay, let's just get right into it. Here are the things that were sent to me for which I am so appreciative. I know a lot of you watch uh, The Thrill of the Thrift, D up in Niagara Falls. And she sent a very nice card and with kittens on the front of it. And she was out shopping and look what D found for me, a tin of the old curiosity shop. Uh, and it says, the old curiosity shop, Charles Dickens, of course, and this is, uh, something bird, big bird assorted toffees. Of course, it's an English tin made in England, and that I just love that. So, okay, so D, thank you. And I have, I already told, oh, what does it say there? Harry Vincent, Huntington, near Birmingham, England. See that? So nice. I have plans at some point in the future to actually set up an office space where I'm gonna have a shelf behind me and all of the things that folks have given me or things that I have found that says the old curiosity shop, I'm gonna make a display out of. So I know some of you have sent me things in the past that say the old curiosity shop and I'm trying to figure out how I wanna display everything. So check out Dee's channel if you don't already watch her. She was at like 5,000 subscribers. I was watching her the other day and she was doing a 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, and it's called The Thrill of the Thrift. Thank you, Dee. And I've got something for you that's going to be coming your way soon. Okay. And then this was so nice from, um, well, he's in New York, Brooklyn, I think. And he, Stash is a viewer, and he sent me a nice card. And he says, um, oh, someone gave this to him, but he uses a finer grade, and so something practical. Yes, he sent me uh, a wonderful package of steel wool, which I use all the time. This is a heavy grade steel wool that can be used to remove corrosion from all kinds of things. And he's seen me use it several times in my videos, and he sent me a bundle of it, which is wonderful because I never really have any here. I have it in the workshop in New Jersey, and I don't have it here. So now I've got some coarse steel wool when I need it. Stat, stash, thank you. And he sent some postcards. Look at these. Won't show you everything. This is a, this is a Christmas Day postcard. You'll get to see that later um, as part of my decorating. And then a really nice one for Thanksgiving, and this is dated 1927. A vintage Thanksgiving postcard. So I really appreciate that. Garland sent me another uh, from Texas. I think that's where you are. And he sent me a another 
carnival glass piece, but I think it's over there in the china closet. But I'll show you this box, and I have not unwrapped the box yet, but I'll show you what's in it. And Garland says a note. I think you're in Texas. Yes. So thank you, and look at this box. I think it's covered in some kind of suede or cowhide or something like that with a really, I think that's the letter A on the top. A very old box, a wooden box. Isn't that neat? And something on the inside. <gasps> oh, look at this. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I need, see, I haven't looked at these yet. I need something like this. Hold on, what's going on here? Okay, he's a little Santa Claus on a spring, so he would he he would be. Um, he jiggles. What is he? Mer mercury glass. There is. They're doing all this work on the street outside, and sometimes you know I live in the city, and you just get. In case you hear it, like I don't hear it. I mean, I hear it, but I don't hear it. When I go to the country, like one cricket will keep me awake all night. But here in the city, sirens, helicopters, dogs barking, uh, those drills out on the street, I don't even hear it. Look at this. This is Japan, this is made in Japan. Look how tiny it is. And it's a bell. It's like porcelain. Can you see that? That is cute. And he sent me some hardware. I love hardware. I'm always saving hardware. These are wonderful. This is like right from the 20s. Vintage hardware. Awesome. I think I told you it was not uncommon when I was a kid for our, our father to, uh, my dad, to st stop the car if there's a piece of furniture on the side of the road that was like destroyed, he would get out, take a screwdriver out, remove all the hardware, the knobs, the hinges, and it all went into little coffee cans in the garage. So I do the same thing. That's really nice. So Garland, thank you. Oh, I didn't break it. Thank you for that. I really, really appreciate it. It's just so nice that you guys do that. Think of me. Um, Mm. How about this cold snap we've, we're getting? Oh my goodness. I don't know where you are, but whoo. Okay, and then, oh my goodness, I need to speed this up. Okay, from Laurel, from Laura in Kentucky, she sent some photographs, some old photographs, and these are so cool. You know, I had some other subscribers send me old photographs too, and I love old photography, and I collect a lot of it. You always hear me say I don't collect anything. That's not true. I, I collect. Uh, and she just sent me such wonderful stuff, and I, I just wish that I, I could show you everything. I really need to make a slideshow of it, I guess. But look at some of these old photographs. I'll just let you see a few oh, right now. I think these guys are on the beach, and someone wrote, this looks like the 20s, and they wrote Honey Maids under it. I'm not sure what the reference is there. I love this. And, oh my goodness, look at this one. He is, that's a World War I era uh, military uniform. So this is probably, he's either kissing his sweetheart goodbye or his mother. I think it's his sweetheart when I look closely at the kiss. <laughs> I don't think it's his mother. Um, so he's, he's saying goodbye to a sweetie or hello to a sweetie, probably goodbye. I hope he made it back. You can see the ship behind him. He's on, he's on the dock, probably on his way to France. This is just priceless to me. 
And there are others in here too. There's this wonderful, look at this. What I need to do is scan these and make a slideshow out of them so I can share them with everybody. And a wonderful group of children. Look at this one. I love this. Maybe she was a school teacher or a Sunday school teacher, perhaps. So I just appreciate this. So thank you, Laura, so much. And there are other things in here. And there's a story that she sent me. This is just, you guys are so incredible. Okay. And then, oh, I have to pick this box up. Look at what Kelly sent me. Okay, first of all, wow, there's a depression cup and saucer, which I should be drinking out of, but I'm not. This is actually the cameo pattern. And if you look closely, you'll see what looks like a little ballerina dancing there. Do you see her? With like her skirt flying up or, or some kind of clothing flying up. Do you see her right there? That's called cameo pattern and it's a depression glass pattern and she sent me a cup and saucer in the cameo pattern which I don't have so you know I have a collection of about maybe 25 depression cups and saucers and I don't have that one and then there's a there's a like a luncheon plate that she sent and then I almost got see I don't even have to say it you've been watching me long enough Detached, you know what, when she sent me these. Now, what is this? Well, it matches the grease jar, the grease pot that I bought maybe two months ago. Not quite two months ago. It's by Hall, and it's the Sun Glow pattern, I think. Here it is. Don't drop it. So this is the grease jar. I think the lighting is, is washing it out. You can't really see it. Um, but this is what I keep uh, my ginger snaps in. Yes, it is a grease jar. It was part of a range set. And also with the range set were a salt and pepper. And here they are. And they match this. So you're going to get, you'll see this out on the kitchen counter at some point. I'll put it out there so you can see it. So she sent the matching Hall salt and pepper shakers in this, um, I think it's, it's either, I think it's called Sun Glow. Sun Glow. So, beautiful condition, and now, hey, I have two more pieces to add to that uh, to make a range set out of it. Uh, she also sent me, yes, I'm going to grind this up, the Sasquatch coffee, and I read your email, um, and you told me how good this is, so I know, you know, a lot of times I'm drinking instant. I'm drinking instant right now. Uh, once again, I have depleted my stash of ginger snaps, so I'm eating my Winternacht German um, Christmas cookies. I know, it's too soon. But you'll notice the Halloween decorations are gone. So I will be grinding this up and drinking it. This is so exciting. Probably boring for you, but exciting for me. Am I dragging this out too much? Look at this thing. I can't wait to try it. It's a individual Mr. Coffee like dripper thing. And I think this is probably from, oh, look on the back. It says, from Milt and Irene, Christmas of 1985. You see that? From Milt and Irene. Okay, well, it's gotten recycled and it's now mine. So I guess I put the cup coffee up here, pour the hot water in, and then it just drips down into this cup. So I'm going to be trying that once I get that coffee ground up. And then, two more things that are just fantastic. So let me show you. Um, then Kelly sent me this which I don't have and this is the 30 hours 20 audio cassettes yes of course I'm from the 80s so I mean I was in high school in the 80s of course I have a cassette player 
60 old radio programs, old time radio's greatest shows on cassette. And, and will I listen to these? Are you kidding? I have been a fan of old time radio since I was a teenager. Um, I'll tell you how that happened some other time. But so, and I listen to a lot of it. And in fact, whenever I'm working in the garage, in my dad's garage, uh, I, his the old radio is out there and there's a cassette player out there and I play these then. So thank you, all these cassettes of the old radio shows. I'm gonna be listening to them and I enjoy those a lot. And then finally, look at this. <laughs> Kelly, I can't believe it. A, uh, an Art Deco, 19, circa 1930, satin glass console bowl, center bowl. You can see here it stands on three feet. It's very Art Deco in green satin glass. And this would, as a console bowl, usually these would sit, it could sit on your dining room table with two candlesticks. It could sit on a buffet with two candlesticks. And uh, I love this. And guess what? Like, two days after she sent this, I'm out thrifting, and I found a satin glass vase, which looks almost, you know, like I could put that right in the center of it. And they, they match perfectly. Is, is that crazy? They match perfectly. They're the same color. They might have even been made by the same manufacturer. So that could actually sit in the center and I could have flowers coming out of that. And I think it looks great. So this I just, you know, found uh, after this came in the mail. So I love this. As I said before, I ship a thousand boxes a year. So I know what it is to wrap stuff up, pack stuff up and take it to the post office. And I am just appreciative of everything that you sent. Very nice, very, very nice. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a couple of the things that I purchased when I was thrifting the other day. And you've already seen most of this in that thrift haul. You didn't think I bought these, but I did. I got all five of them. Now there were probably six and I imagine one is broken. But I love these and I'll give you a better look on the kitchen counter because I think they show up better on the black countertop. Um, maybe someone can help me. I don't know who, I haven't really researched them at all. I don't know who the manufacturer is. Um, but they feel very 1960s to me and there's blue and you can see that there's a, they're fluted or ruffled and they have uh, some gilding around the edges and some hand painting in the center. And so there's five of them here, a blue one yellow, purple or amethyst, pink, and green. So uh, I think they, they're very Christmassy and um, so I'm gonna be listing, they're not listed yet, but they will be. So does anyone know who made them? Uh, I did, Somebody did write in and say that they remember their mother used them as nut, nut dishes on bridge night when they had bridge club, which makes sense. But I think these would be really f fun to use as maybe some Christmas decorating. And then um, I did get the two pink things, the cheese and cracker and the big mayonnaise set. So here they are made by the same manufacturer. And a couple of folks suggested that maybe I had the compotes mixed up, but they are on the right plates. And there's two reasons why. Number one, the cheese and cracker plate, the plate is always much larger so that it can accommodate for all the crackers. The cheese goes in there and you need a larger plate for all the crackers. Also, the reason why they're not interchangeable is they don't fit, the diameters are different. So I'll show you here, even if I wanted to put, even if I wanted to switch them and put the etched mayonnaise bowl on the etched plate, do you see the indentation there like for a saucer? The diameter is too big, it doesn't fit down in it, okay? So it, it's, this doesn't fit, 
Won't work, you can't do that. This one fits perfectly in there and it doesn't slide and it's not supposed to slide. So this is correct. The cheese and cracker set like that. And then the smaller underplate is what goes under this bowl here, which um, could easily be used for jelly. It is, bit, it is large for a mayonnaise. So it could be used for jelly or whatever you want to put in it with a spoon, okay? Maybe cranberry sauce. So these two, uh, I'm gonna, hopefully if we have sunshine, I'll be able to get those photographed and listed in, in the shop this week. I am still a little bit behind, although I did a lot of listing yesterday. Well, not a lot, but I got maybe 10 or 15 things listed, but I have a lot to do. This is what was in my car, and I told you, I, was, I gave you a sneak peek, and I told you how awesome it was, but I wasn't gonna show it to you yet. Look at this. <laughs> I know that it's hard to appreciate it because you can't really see the pattern, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these little roly-poly tumblers. And I'll let you see just how 60, 1960s that design is. Can you see the diamonds? Um, I think this will show up better out in the kitchen, but you see how 60s that is? <laughs> Great. Come here, Sam. You want to be in the movie? Come here. He just ate. He's licking his lips. Come here. The people want to see you. Um, so <laughs> this is just great. Uh, I can't wait to fiddle around with that. Come here, Sam. You could be in the movie. Oh, he wants to be in the movie. There he is. Oh, look at your tummy. Rah, rah, rah. Okay. Oh, I know. All right. Look up. Uh, no, come on. See the people. You don't want to see the people? You don't. Okay. He has just eaten, so well, there he is. Oh, that's what an 18-year-old cat looks like. All right, go to bed. Get back in your tent. So, now what would you drink out of these? I Probably some kind of alcoholic thing, but I don't know about that. So I don't know what the alcohol things are called, but... I would drink hot cider out of it or milk or anything. Kool-Aid, uh, but I guess there's probably some kind of a drink. Highball, I really don't know. But this is gonna be so cool on somebody's 1960s, you know, Mad Men inspired bar, I guess. And I promise I'll show you that out on the kitchen counter where I think it will show up a little bit better. And now I need help with this. I just bought this today, folks. This is the biggest vase. <laughs> this thing is huge. This is a big Czechoslovakian pottery vase. And it's in kind of a Delphite blue color. I don't know what it looks like on your screen. Uh, I paid $10 for it. I had to rescue it, even though it was $10. There is not a chip or a crack on this thing. Now, how did this thing survive with no chips or cracks at all? It's huge. And I think this is gonna be beautiful at Easter time, you know, with a great bit, all kinds of Easter flowers coming out of it. Um, I'll let you see the bottom. It's simply stamped Czechoslovakia, which you can see there. And I know a lot of you know, you know, like me, I know my basic history of Czechoslovakia. Uh, now, what, the Czech Republic. And of course, it was a hotbed of um, glass making and pottery making. But I'm getting a feeling on this because of the way it's stylized that it is probably from the 1930s. Um, but there was a lot of Art Deco influenced stuff made in the 1960s. So could it be a piece made after the war? I really don't know. It just is stamped Czechoslovakia on the bottom and I haven't done any research on it. So maybe some of you have some idea um, and you know, can, can maybe find out for me uh, basically when it was made. I'm just going on the style of it and history 
in terms of what was going on in Czechoslovakia, that my guess would be the 30s. It has kind of a, an Art Deco influenced, I think, feel to the stylized flower. But what am I gonna do with it? I don't know, because it's huge. Uh, for right now, I'm gonna hold on to it and, and not sell it. But that's that. Okay, I am still working on a backlog or a backload of things that I have got to get listed. Um, so there will be things popping up in the old curiosity shop this week. I hope to do a lot of listing tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And uh, I'm finally caught up on my shipping and um, I'm ha I have a big Christmas haul that I'm going to be sharing with you also very, very soon because I want to get all those Christmas things up in the shop so that if folks are interested, you can order them and have them as part of your um, Christmas decorating. Okay, thanks for watching. I always forget to say it. In fact, I almost never say it, but I appreciate it if you like, click, subscribe, apply, uh, comment, all those things. I appreciate that. And thank you for watching. I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop saying thanks for watching and so long for now. I think I need to light the fireplace. Woo! <laughs>